His success and failure in the universities that we have seen as they spent the summer planning. The White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator weighing in on Baylor's COVID-19 planning and readiness. It was all part of a big roundtable discussion at Baylor just a few hours ago as the school works to control its COVID-19 spread. In fact, Dr. Burks praised Baylor for its efforts in fighting the virus. 25 News reporter Sierra Shipley was at today's briefing and she has the details on Baylor's success. Sierra. Dr. Deborah Burks has been visiting multiple different colleges from across our nation to see and praise them on their efforts for keeping their faculty, students, and ultimately their city safe. Dr. Deborah Burks has traveled to Tennessee, Arizona, and now she's in Texas visiting with Baylor University, as some colleges haven't been given the privilege to reunite with on-campus learning. These universities that opened and staying open are providing the playbook for universities across this country to be able to open in the spring. Burks has met with multiple faculty advisors across many colleges, and she says Baylor comes out on top for a specific reason. Plans for testing, plans for isolating, plans, those are isolating the positives, the ability to contact trace, and the ability to quarantine. Vice President of Marketing and Communication Jason Cook says when someone from the White House is willing to stop by, Baylor is willing to share their ideas. Today was really about sharing a lot of the things that we've done, some lessons learned um, from opening the campus. One of the main goals Baylor has accomplished is partnering with the city of Waco to combat COVID-19. We can't just be in the Baylor bubble here. We have to all be working together and all coming to, to do the right thing. Burks also praised Baylor's innovative ways to test and contact trace. When a number of students became infected at Martin Hall, Baylor found that wastewater testing could be to their benefit. Seven months ago, we didn't think of doing any of these things. So this cutting edge, what we call innovative science, science and data collection will help other universities really understand when they tr will open in the spring. Hoping that by traveling across our nation, these universities who have opened can create a roadmap to success when more plan to continue on campus learning next year. Dr. Deborah Burks is not ending her tour in Texas. In fact, she will be visiting Texas A&M tomorrow and then traveling through the south and back up to Washington. In Waco, Sierra Shipley, 25 News.